Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishrash, I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion about an vicinal diol, it's an MCQ. So you can see this molecule is the vicinal diol and you have to say what is the major product of this reaction. And by the way, four options are provided in front of you and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation and don't hesitate because self-evaluation is essential for improvement and don't worry after some time you'll get the right answer with proper explanation i believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer if you look at the molecule this vicinal diol that's a very important thing actually it is more specifically because it's one two diol the hydroxyl group attached to two adjacent carbons now this molecule is pretty simple now the main concern come about the steps actually it's a two-step reaction the first step reaction if you look at aldehyde and acid and this side is diol so what type of reaction acetal formation so let's go step by step now first step is acetal formation in this case remember student aldehydes are more active for acetal formation than ketone due to lesser bulkness now Obviously, during this acetal formation, one molecule of water will be produced, which is removed generally by Dean Stark apparatus. For example, you can do this reaction in toluene solvent, and through azeotropic distillation, you can remove the uh, byproduct water and make the equilibrium move towards this forward direction. I mean, in this way, you can produce this product and later you can purify. So, after the purification, this compound is treated with butyl lithium. And in this case, what is produced? Obviously, it produced a carbonyl. Now, question why this carbonyl is produced? By the way, student, if you look at so this butyl, actually this is an sp3 carbonyl, and it is one of the strongest base. You may consider also like that. So it's like sp3 carbonyl, and these sp3 carbonyl abstract the proton from this benzylic position and produces this carbon ion actually it's more specifically if i say benzylic carbon ion and we know this benzylic carbon ion is resonance stabilized by the conjugation with this phenyl group not only this it is also stabilized by the minus i effect of this two oxygen atom because oxygen is electronegative atom so through sigma withdrawing or minus i effect it can stabilize the carbon ion to some extent fine but in this context this reaction doesn't stop at here what do i mean by this statement so reaction doesn't stop it here then what happens these undergo a pericyclic type reaction what do i mean so this negative charge pushes here this bond goes and it comes on this oxygen so what is the product obviously from this side if you look at so this is a double bond formation this is this alkene and obviously along with these it produces ph c double bond o obviously o minus so this now question why this is possible because the two hydroxyl are in c's fashion so in order to uh, this re in order to happen this reaction these ring actually this five member ring is in c's orientation and by the way obviously five member ring cannot be make trans so this ring in c's orientation but obviously these eight member ring could be made trans i shall give example after some time so so after that uh, it produces this alkene and upon workup you can get the final alkene as the product Okay. And actually, in this case, we have started with a C's diol. So that's why we got here C's alkene. Okay. So now what is the product in this case? Obviously, this option A is the product. And by the way, if you don't know the answer, how can you come to the right answer? Less than 30 seconds, obviously. Now, if you look at this benzaldehyde tosyl acid diol, this step student confirms you that it is an acetal formation. So, if it is acetal formation, then option D gone. Now, 
second is butyl lithium then h3o plus now you have prepared an acetal and in presence of butyl lithium elimination to produce diene not that much logical but but a question remains that sir how can i distinguish between it will be cis alkene or trans alkene that's actually difficult i agree student but remember one thing this five member ring formation is in cis fashion so if you have taken this cis alcohol obviously obviously the acetal will be in in five member ring in cis not only that these eight member ring is also cis so ultimately it will produce the cis product actually seen product uh, this cis type because uh, you can see you may say that sir this alkene is a trans alkene then how are you saying it's cis i am talking that these al this double bond is this direction seen type so that's why in this way you can consider cis type so to this group is the same side of this alkene or carbon carbon double bond now uh, in this context you should remember if you have started with the trans one then product is the trans one so let's see what I'm talking right now. So if you have taken this trans diol, better to say trans vaginal diol, then obviously in present reaction with this aldehyde, it will produce and aldehyde and acid it will produce this five member ring. Now you may think that sir, according to your this geometry drawing, it looks like that this five member ring in trans orientation actually student this five member ring can't go but generally it represented in this way actually this eight member ring adjusted itself in a trans fashion but this five member ring remains in the same direction why because it's a small ring so if the ring is small in size so it always sees or actually more accurately if i say it's a thin orientation now similar reaction pathway that this proton will be abstracted by this butyl lithium this benzylic carbon ion which will subsequently produce this trans alkene why because here the diol was trans diol so i guess you have understood this is a very unique reaction and not only this for your better understanding i have presented the hydrogens in this way which will help you to understand things more clearly and you can see here clearly that in this case i have displayed the ring in a same plane so that will help help you to understand this thing properly now so this is actually trans because this the two hydrogens are in trans orientation now uh, so these method student actually since trans isomerization of alkene is very interesting because using this method you can convert one cis alkene into actually uh, diol or more specifically if i say it's a trans diol and later on these uh, trans triol could react with this benzaldehyde uh, this paratoluene sulfonic acid which will make this five member acetal and later on in terms of this butyl lithium as a base it will produce this trans alkene why because actually this diol is trans but for this acetal formation these two diol will come in a cis orientation consequently the initially these two r1 and r2 which were in cis they will change their orientation and they will come into the trans orientation which ultimately result in this trans alkene so this is a method for cis alkene to trans alkene preparation and this is because these uh, cis elimination makes this reaction selective for geometrical interconversion and interestingly student not only this actually i have discussed three different ways in this lecture previous video for this conversion of cis alkene into trans alkene i shall provide the link please visit for better understanding now in conclusion what you have learned today that alkene could easily be converted into their corresponding cis diol or trans diol by selective method for example if you want to prepare cis diol then KMnO4 oxidation, osmium tetroxide oxidation, etc. very important. Or if you want to make it trans, then Prevost reaction. I've already discussed this reaction previously. Now, 1, 2 diol, sorry, D-I-U-L. 1, 2 diol can efficiently participate for acetal formation with aldehyde because it's a chelation effect or you may consider five member ring formation and five member ring formation is significantly easier due to proper conformational orientation. Furthermore, that uh, these aldehyde CH 
could be deprotonated by alkyl lithium due to its enhanced bases. It is a stronger base as I told sp3 carbon ion and the resulting carbon ion is resilience stabilized because it's a benzylic type which can undergo a delocalization of this benzene ring and it can easily undergo syn elimination or pericyclated reaction to result an, an alkene derivative. Now uh, finally the resulting product is opposite in geometry in the elimination occurs now because the elimination is actually syn elimination so whatever we have uh, tried so started so that with respect to that alkene ultimate product will be trans. Now this method is actually very good and selective method for cis trans interconversion of alkene. Now this is the end of the discussion. I thanks everyone for watching this video. If you really enjoy my content, please help this channel to grow. And if possible, please visit my another channel. So thank you again. Stay happy. Stay blessed. See you in my next video. Bye bye.